Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's week is going great. I'm Satoshi Sean, you're at the Cryptopolitan, your one-stop shop for all blockchain and cryptocurrency news. Uh, first, please, if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. We get out news videos to you every single day, uh, at least once a day, and on the weekends. Um, the channel's been growing. We're, we're up to over 700 subscribers. Pretty awesome. Um, only been around for about a month. Um, also, if you're subscribed or not subscribed or whatever, uh, please crush that like button. It really helps us out. Let's jump into the news for today. Head over to the Cryptopolitan where we have all the news laid out, easy to find in sections, uh, whether it's all coin, Bitcoin news, uh, industry news, blockchain news, um, regulation. There's also an events tab if you want to head out to some uh, meetups and coin analysis, which coin analysis for all the uh, the top cryptocurrency coins, and it's updated constantly. First story is about um, concerns about the Bitcoin Lightning Network and how it went, uh, had a 13% uh, decrease in its capacity. It's over 30 days. It's kind of a big big drop, so it is it is creating some concerns. Um, the token's two-layer two scaling, Bitcoin second layer system for scaling. Um, it dropped uh, over a period of 30 days. Um, they're, they're really saying it's just because it's so difficult to use that not a lot of people use it, which is true. Um, not a lot of people use it because it is kind of difficult to use. So it's, it's, I think it's mainly because of, uh, adoption hasn't come. I think as it grows and it's still in the infancy stage, so it's not a huge, a huge deal as far as, uh, as far as what I'm concerned. Um, because it is just starting out. Now, if this happened like six months from now, eight months from now, a year from now, it would be a much bigger concern. Um, but the Lightning Network really is just 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 getting started. Next, this is a big shocker of a story. Um, the Central Bank of Germany dismisses the idea of digital currencies. Um, Deutsche Bank, it's one of if not the like worst bank in the world it is the like the worst most crooked i think of all the big boys um i think they just uh got raided well they just got raided a few weeks ago by like five different uh regulatory agencies in germany so they're they're just terrible but surprise surprise they don't like cryptocurrencies now um there are many people around the globe who are skeptical about the use of digital currencies Recently, the president of the Central Bank of Germany said that digital currencies can cause widespread bad consequences, like all of the things they've been charged with. <laughs> um, similarly, the president of Deutsche Bank, Jean Zweidemann, called this digital system a threat to the financial system. Not the financial system. A threat to their financial system. Um, kind of uh, not really a shock, like I said. I think Deutsche Bank is going to fail. It's going to fall. Only good thing about that is maybe it'll, uh, with that and Brexit, it'll kill the EU um, and shift people more towards a decentralized um, financial structure. It's That's what the EU is supposed to be started as, is an economic, you know, centralization, um, where it's kind of the opposite of what blockchain and what everybody in cryptocurrency wants as far as freedom and, and owning your own money. Um Next, so Roger Veer had a uh, an interesting thing to say and a good point. You know, I was like everyone else. I really thought Roger Veer just didn't like him that much. But if you listen to what he says, not how he says it, because he is an annoying man. Um, but he he says things that are that are very actually very very, very meaningful. Um, now this is about the uh, all the hoopla about the India thing, which if you watch the Last news video I did, I kind of go over the conspiracy theory, I think, about the the whole India ban on crypto and the Facebook coin and the globalization and the Reserve Bank of India and all that. I think they're all working together. But recently, a report released by Bloomberg Quint uh, revealed the draft of the bill for India, which they wanted to ban all the cryptocurrencies, um, which hugely affected ZebiPay because they're based in India um, and uh, they're linked and then their app is linked with all exchanges from India to Malta. Now, Indonesia is taking some... Indonesia, not 
India, they're taking some concrete measures for regulations of cryptocurrencies. Um, they're emphasizing that exchange need to go through a, a process of registration to get registered, validated, and then be regulated um, by the government to perform their tasks freely. It's really not that freely, but yes, I can understand that. Now, the CEO of Bitcoin, Roger Ver, called this a monopoly, uh, a monopoly of the government. And he uh, posted this tweet of a poster of the Bank of Indonesia where it stated clearly that use your own money, i.e. the rupee, um, for each and every transaction. And his tweet, his tweet is really spot on. Governments say monopolies are bad, but they'll toss you in jail if you're competing with their own monopoly. That is that is very, very good. Um what's next future cryptocurrencies and markets brought up at the st petersburg international economic forum according to the latest report igor Sehen, the head of the russian oil giant in a statement revealed that digital currencies lack of regulatory and volatile nature regulatory lack of regulation and volatile volatile nature our major issues of concern, but the probability of using cryptocurrencies is not entirely dismissed. Um, if you remember, was it a few months ago? It was the yeah, I think it was like this year, late last year. Um, they came out talking about a, a currency, a cryptocurrency that was in a back, be backed by Russian oil. Um, and there's always you know rumblings about uh, Russia and cryptocurrency. Um, I know Putin. Putin issued a like an order to have a uh, a viable cryptocurrency um, regulation and uh, draft by July. So we're coming up on that. Uh, but at St. Petersburg um, International Economic Forum, uh, they discussed the future of cryptocurrency in the oil industry and say that although the oil industry is aware of cryptocurrency's potential, the risks and regulatory issues in the crypto market are preventing them from venturing into the crypto space. There are some Russian crypto uh, projects that I've seen out there. I own was R- R- Gas, and they uh, they uh, they split and change their uh, their coin. They had like a bajillion um, circulating supply, and then they lowered the supply and issued a new token. But uh, I think that that, that there's going to be a, a, a that it would be a a logical place for when it comes to Russia for the oil market for them to uh, to issue a coin, even maybe a stable coin, um, either against their oil or gold, but oil most likely. Uh, and it would be brilliant, actually. It would be brilliant. Okay, uh, next go over uh, crypto debit cards, which these were all the rage back in uh, 2017. Um, because it was something that really is needed for people that were making tons of money to be able to spend their crypto. Um, but there are still some debit cards. It, they crack down on them, especially in the United States. They're very difficult to get. Um, article goes over a lot of them that there are. There's Wirex, which my buddy uh, the Crypto Vapor has. Very easy to use. I can't get one. I tried to get one. Um, there's Crypto Pay, which... I think as part of BitPay, uh, Uquid and BitCard. There's, I think, two. I know Coinbase, I don't think you can use theirs in the United States. Um, I got a BitCard. That that works, but that's that's the only one I think that is uh, that, and there's one other. I don't, I don't remember what it is. That is good. And there's Provado Bank. That's a new one, um, but that's based out of Panama. Um, you can get that in the States. I think those are the only ones that are still good here. But if you are not in the United States of America, you can look at several others. That's about it for today. Um, it's cool hanging out with you. Hit me in the comment section. Crush that like button. I will see you guys later for the next uh, next news story. It was good seeing you. Take care. I'm Satoshi Sean, and I will see you in the next video.